this week's Vet Ranch Roundup. I'm Dr. Carrie. Thank you for coming to hang out with us this week. If this is your first time joining us, definitely check out a couple playlists that I'm gonna post here. That way you can get caught up in when who our patients are. This is Squeaky. This is Kiki. And you will learn that if you watch the playlist. But anyway, uh, we had an exciting week. We got some new animals in. Last week, I went to the shelter for a board meeting. And then they were going to euthanize in the morning, they said, anyway, because they were absolutely full. Because they're getting so many animals dumped right now. So I went to a board meeting and left with four puppies and two adult dogs that were scheduled for euthanasia the next day. So we're going to meet them. They're precious. So everybody was really surprised when they came in early in the morning the next day and there was like a kennel full of dogs and big puppies, but you know, just what to do. Anyway, um, let's go meet everybody and just start this week and go snuggle some puppies and kittens. I mean, that's the best way to start my week and your weekend when you watch these videos. So let's go. I'm gonna show you all the puppies that they came into, um, which was quite a surprise. Hold on. Okay, Dr. Carey pulled a lot of puppies from the shelter. Surprise, surprise. It's, they seem like more sometimes. And so we've already actually done an exam on them and ran a parasite screen and they have a lot of parasites. But today we're going to give them their first rounds of vaccine. So we're gonna file them in here and get that done. Because of their age, they're actually going to receive a rabies, a distemper parvo with lepto today, and this intranasal. Lila's urine. Look how much there's just like white blood cells floating around. Poor thing. It's not uncommon for these female dogs that have been in the shelter for a long time to have UTIs, urinary tract infections, because they hold it forever and they don't walk them. And then they're sitting kind of on wet concrete. So poor thing. So we're gonna get her treated. That alone is gonna make her feel a lot better. Oh, oh my God. Okay, here's another little pup or adult dog that Carrie pulled from the shelter. This pup was actually slated to be euthanized the day that we pulled her. Um, and so what a lucky pup. And we're going to administer a rabies, a distemper parvo with lepto, and a kill pop vaccine. Okay, mama, here we go. Oh my gosh, that, that one's stung. You okay? Perfect. I'll tell you what. Oh, she's bucking us. Holy cow. Yes. Fish on, fish on. We did it. Okay guys, so it looks like Delilah is heartworm test negative, which is awesome. This one they're calling Poppy. It says bites and darts out. She doesn't actually bite aggressively. She's very excited. She's a healer. That grabs onto your clothes when she's happy. Okay guys, so Miss Poppy, she does have some hookworms as you can tell, but we also found a little wickworm. She only had a couple on this slide, um, but we will definitely be treating for hooks and whips. Good girls. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, so it looks like Miss Poppy, her heart room test is also negative, which is awesome. development and she's in heat she's got some blood and she has a uti so she's a mess she's a mess she likes to jump and knit so we're working on that issue good restraint <laughs> she's a wild girl you're gonna have to get in a normal position to listen to your heart That we measured a cakester for and it's from a company called dog legs i mean how cute is that that's just the best name i did think it had a z on the end you know that would make it kind of cool dog legs but um it's still cute i guess so it kind of looks like a little wetsuit here she's gonna go scuba diving but essentially what it does <clears throat> is her head will be here, and then her arm, her normal one will be through here. And then we're gonna keep her one that's dislocated pulled up to her body in the right place and hope that that kind of fibrosis around that joint and then holds it still. So we'll go get her and put that on her. Okay. <laughs> so her head is healed up. And then her little uh, area is healed up too, where she had that open wound. That's for you. That's for you, Kate. So I can hold her up a little bit, yeah. She said, yeah, I can do it. Yeah. back over here. <laughs> it's exactly like it, like, but I this open here because it's really hot. Now let me look at the pictures and make sure it's right. You're all going to laugh and that's just fine. Well, I don't like how it gapes here. It's not supposed to. I looked at the pictures, but it stays on and it supports her leg. I'm going to loosen that up a little bit. But I'm going to order her a bigger size or talk to the company and see what went wrong. And then you're going to be hot in that big. And then it get a little bit better fit. But for now, it's going to keep her leg like we need it. chicken. We need to do his teeth. We're going to put soft paws on him because he swiped someone in the face. Rude. So rude. <laughs> Today, so we can do a bandage change at the same time and look at her little foot that was all raw. Hopefully, it's getting better. And then she's going to her home tonight. She's going to her foster to adopt home. Aside, Daisy. Oh my god. This pig was just scratching its butt on the bars. Quit getting all the attention. You're so cute. That's Daisy, though. It's your day, Daisy. Five point nine pounds. You're so big. It's okay. Her paw looks pretty good. Definitely less inflamed. She has the irritated area at her pad. Uh, but overall, pretty good. Feels nice and stable.
bro, when's this cat gonna have babies this weekend? Tomorrow. Do. Ivy, what's happening? She's so big. Ivy, she's the sweetest cat. She is. So make some biscuits for everybody. Says I'm saving my biscuits for my babies. So cute. Cause I'm making my biscuits, girl. The Bell Bell, go have babies. Everybody wants to see your babies. Oh my goodness. Oh. Playtime. The puppy can stay. Oh, don't get worked up. Your puppy don't appreciate that. Oh my God, they're cute. That's a good mama. Oh my. Oh whoa. Woo. Good girl. That was a good recall. Proud of you. Oh, I mean, my heart beat a little bit because Crimson will give you a run for your money. Oh my word. Yes, I love you too, Opal. I just want to see the baby. Oh! Oh! That's all I can say. Oh! Chabba Wabba Bear. She's a good girl. Took a lipstick face now. Part two. Oh! Oh, oh. Opal's like, no, me, 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 me. I love you. Oh, my gosh, you're looking straight to my brain in my ear. Oh, <laughs> wow. Is there something I can help you with? Attitude. Come here. <laughs> oh, oh. What is it? Tell me right now. <laughs> we are weaning the kittens for noodles. I think she definitely appreciate it, appreciates it, but... We are gonna have to put this troublemaker away. Opal, she's not great with Kit Kats. Are you by the Kit Kats? So the babies can come out and play. So we need some exercise. Oh my gosh, they're getting so big. Babies, so let's get them out to play. Holy mother of all things cute. This should just, I just wanna sign some agreement that this is my job now. Only puppies and kittens. You have so much personality. You. Oh, oh. And the babies are out. Those are the babies.
I'm not just a little drunk. Oh, oh, it's not just a bug. Hey, it's a pig in a blanket. Oh my gosh, post-surgery, everything went well. Got those teeth extracted, vaccinated. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. So, it's amazing how quickly these little pigs can get up from surgery. Okay, I know I've taken like 20 videos of this, but I can't stop taking videos of a pig in a blanket. Sheila, what are you doing? Sheila. Well, so Sue sleepy today. So I just got spayed. Not feeling the best. Did you just have surgery? I'm oh, sorry, Mommy Silker. Oh, baby. I'm feeling sorry for myself today. I feel sorry for you too. All those crusties on her nose. She's had her last injection for the mange mites, the sarcoptic mange. And if you guys didn't know, I would say 95% of these mini pigs that people have as pets that sleep in their bed have mange. So yeah, that's disgusting. And <laughs> just know that when you get a micro pig, one, I hope you don't, because they're never micro, even though they're cute. Two, know that they probably have mange. Oh. Guys, thanks for coming to hang out with us this week. I cannot tell you what it means to us that you watch our videos every week. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on your alerts. It's just fun to take you guys along with this journey and have you guys watch these puppies grow every week or these kittens that are born and get bigger. It's good. It's good to, and refreshing to show the reality of sometimes we lose patience, but you guys are so supportive and I thank you so much to all the patrons, everybody that subscribes, shares, just watching videos. If you donate to Vet Ranch, you are allowing us to do what we do um, because without those donations, we cannot save anything. So thank you guys so much and we will see you next week. As always, bye, Key. Say bye, Kiki. <laughs> Squeaky said bye. What? What? Bye. Yeah. Bye. Squish, 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 squish. Oh, yo, 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 yo. Bye. Say bye. Kiki's not, not in the mood. I mean, nobody's surprised about that. Bye guys. Oh, you waiting for your new mama to get here? She is more excited than you. She is freaking out. Let's go. Hi. Thank you. I'm scared of her again today. I'm your new mama. She's like, ah. That's so cute. Bye girl. See you later. Bye. Bye, girl.